Did I just find eggs on my first iguana? <laughs> Did I just really find the eggs on my first iguana? <laughs> seen us catch it. You guys seen us prepare it. Now it's only one more thing for you guys to see us do, and that's to eat it. Oh. Come over here, film this, dude. Oh my god. Do you see that? Look at that big orange one right there. Ooh. Get it, we should get the orange one or green one. But we're gonna try to get one of them. Let's go. It says no swimming or diving. It doesn't say no iguana catching. <laughs> Oh, we got him. One in the bag. Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, buddy. How's it going? All right, y'all. Check it out. It's not the alpha, but we'll take it. It's a nice, healthy, green female iguana. And y'all can see this is a really good size iguana about three and a half feet long. She's got the full tail, thunder thighs. She's got a really fat stomach. She potentially could have some eggs. This is a really good iguana to grab. What do you think, bro? You think we should grab him? I think we should grab him, bro. He's the alpha. We gotta show him who's the real alphas. Double really? iguanas, double the luck. Am I right? Yep, yep, yep. Let's go see if we can get him. We're gonna try with the lefty, too. One is in the bag. Ooh. This is the tricky part, y'all. All right, we'll actually let him go in the water. Oh. Oh, smack. So we'll fight him out here because we don't want him to go in the rocks and wrap Ooh. us up. There we go. This is perfect right here. Get him out of the structure because he will try to shake you and wrap you up in the rocks. Like he's doing as right There we go, y'all. Look how he's fighting right there. Let him swim it out a little bit. Let him get nice and tired. This is perfect. And we still have our other iguana what in the head. <laughs> He's just chilling right here. And it seems like we got the biggest female, and we're about to get the biggest male off the territory right now. Whew. But we gotta get, oh, he's, he's on the rock right now. Look at that. He's on the rock. He's gripping onto the rock. There we go, he just released. Now his back leg's got it. Come on, buddy, there he is. All right, now we can flip him up. Wow. Flip or die! Whoa! Good catch. Whoa! 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 whoa. Big double up! Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa Big whoa, double whoa. up! Look at that, y'all! Two massive invasive lizards caught off the same rock here in South Florida. Who would have ever thought? A matter of minutes to catch a red iguana and a green iguana. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Which iguanas do you guys like better? Green ones or red ones? Yes, we got this bear box right here and we're gonna recycle this bad boy. Give me the gun. Oh. Give me the gun. This little thing got some kick to it. Like somewhere soft, right? So I get a bit right. better. I'd say like right over there, dude. Yeah, that looks perfect. Dude. All, right, All right, so I think since it's a female, I wanna like cut from like there's, there's yellow eggs. Did I just find eggs on my first iguana? <laughs> Did I just really find the eggs on my first iguana? Save the eggs? Yeah, save the eggs. All right. I want eggs. I thought you took out all the eggs, but there's more. Look at these eggs. It's got two sacks of, I don't know how many are in here. There's gotta be at least 20 of them at though. Least. Let's go ahead and put this iguana here and we'll count out these eggs. A lot of <laughs> eggs in that iguana. I don't even know how many, but we're gonna have to get some kind of estimate, you know what I'm saying? Estimate. All right, so let's let's count, shall we? There's okay. two sacks, we know that. Two sacks, definitely two sacks. You can not try to right, take out let's one. Let's remove one sack. And count that one. That's a full sack of eggs right there, y'all. Full sack. I, I'm guessing 35. Okay. 35, see. it looks like 35. One, 21, 22. 22, 22 eggs. 22 eggs, bro, in one sack. In one sack. That's and, just one. And That's there's two of them. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 43, 43 eggs. eggs. <laughs> Let's go ahead and preserve these eggs for further use. Put them right there. Eyes at the bottom. We're gonna be making a solution to help cure and season these eggs. I have to brine these eggs, okay? 
going to help cure them and it's going to help season them okay so two very important aspects of making caviar okay there so let's go ahead grind up some salt so we can brine our iguana eggs The eggs in the brine. Now it's time to put it in the fridge. Welcome back, guys. So you guys seen how we did it? We went out there. We caught the two iguanas. One of them was a giant male, and one of them was a pregnant female. Now it was very surprising that that female was only about three and a half feet long, but she had approximately 40 eggs up in her. And you guys seen what we did? We cleaned out the eggs. We put them in the salt brine solution for 48 hours. Now it's the morning of Christmas Eve and we finna put together our iguana caviar with crackers. To the stove. We gotta make sure and light it up. We got some matches. Propane on? Yep, let's see, the gas is the gas on? All right, it seems like we're out of gas. Dang. But the good news is we actually have a backup stove right over here. Shout out to Element for hooking us up with this boy right here. Oh. It's a kitchen in a box. All we have to do is plug her in. Oh yeah, dude, it's getting nice and toasty. So let's go ahead, put our pot on there. Let this water get to a roiling boil. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredient list for this recipe. All right, first and foremost, you guys already know, you guys have to have the iguana caviar. And this is freshly harvested. Just the other day, it's been brined, so it should be perfectly cured, perfectly seasoned, and perfectly ready to eat. Second thing we have for our iguana caviar and crackers is the foundation itself. Yes, guys, we have some crackers right here. These are chicken in a biscuit crackers. Now, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna taste because fish caviar, iguana caviar, I'm not gonna lie, it might be kind of nasty. So our job over here is to try to make this iguana caviar and crackers as dank as possible, so we had to get the chicken and biscuit originals. Facts. It's a little bit of the gas, all right? Check it out, y'all. We got some cream cheese made by Kraft Philadelphia, and y'all already know, we had to go with that chive and that onion. Now we're getting into the starting lineup right now, okay? <laughs> right here, y'all, we got some pink Nova salmon straight from Scotland. It's premium sliced smoked salmon. And this right here, y'all, it's gonna add some color. It's gonna add some more protein. And of course, it's gonna add some more flavor with the smokiness and the richness of this salmon. You know, I'd be watching Gordon Ramsay on the Food Network, and he likes to garnish any kind of dish like this, breakfasty, kind of cracker, creamy, cheesy dish with some capers. So shout out to Goya for having all the really cool culinary ingredients for the low. And right here, y'all, we got some really fat capers. Look at that. They're super fat. I've never seen them so big like this. So I don't know. I'm not quite sure what this is going to add to the dish. I just know it's going to make it look really cool. How long have they been sitting in this salt water for, Raj? 48 hours. 48 hours. To brine and to cure and to flavor. So we're gonna add them. Look at them, they look like little gold stoppers. They <laughs> do. We'll leave them in there for a good five minutes, then we'll check back up on them. Are they turning yellow? Or white? So, I don't know. They're definitely getting cooked though. I can tell before they were a little orange and now they're they're changing almost. Whoa! <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and add them to this ice bath right over here. And this is gonna help chill them of course stop the cooking process and it's going to make them the perfect ideal temperature for us to make our iguana caviar and crackers the salmon is already pre-sliced and it's smoked so it looks raw but it's actually fully cooked Add a nice piece right there. 
natural salmon from Scotland. So it should be really, really flavorful and really healthy. It's gonna be like, like, like almost moist on the inside, but looks like an actual egg. Looks like, like an actual egg. Yeah, right? like, like a boiled egg. Add the final garnish. I seen us catch it. You guys seen us prepare it. Now it's only one more thing for you guys to see us do, and that's to eat it. Go ahead and try it. How's it taste? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Taste the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one thing. I don't really know how to explain how that tastes, but you're getting a lot of different flavors in that one small bite. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> You're getting the crunchiness from the cracker, the creaminess of the cream cheese, the smokiness of the salmon, and then you're getting that nice, yolky, rich flavor from that iguana caviar. It just hits the spot. It really binds everything together. And the capers offer a nice briny saltiness. Truly a remarkable flavor in just one small bite. Like, it truly is. This is like an iguana caviar hors d'oeuvre right here, you know? <laughs> Yo, serve this at my wedding, yo, for real. Yo, Gordon Ramsay. Because you're gonna, it's all in one bite, bro. Yo, bro. Rod, you made something. You made something. Oh my God. Flavoring, when, when you eat the iguana egg, you could feel a pop in your mouth. You could feel it all like, oh my God, I can't even describe it. Rod, you are right. It's just a mouthful of deliciousness. <laughs> all right, guys. So you've seen us catch it, you've seen us cook it, and you've seen us eat it. So guys, also in the comments down below, let us know, would you ever eat iguana egg caviar or derbs the way we prepared it? Or iguana eggs in general? This is not just a channel over here, guys. This is a community of iguana hunting and showing you guys all the different recipes that you can do with the chicken of the tree. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you already know. Hit that subscribe button with the bell notification on. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just keep on catching!